clap for your result keep it on the table of destiny and let us check what kind of success don't waste your time clapping for just any kind of success now you are learning not to be critical but to be intelligent spiritually you will find out that many of the applause you are clapping is a waste of time you are only clapping for shadows clapping for people who have deadened their spiritual lives and do not care i must just make it now we don't condemn we hope that the mercy of god comes but let me tell you the kind of success that would demand that you leave god and then to stop being a blessing to attain it is a bait by satan from satan to destroy you if you're understanding me so far say amen, amen. now for tonight let me give you two keys success is based on laws write that down please success is based on laws and principles laws and principles write it down success is based on laws and principles job 38 and verse 33 job was speaking with the lord and here's what the lord asked job 38 33 it says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven let's read it from niv if we can find it or any other modern translation so that you will understand it now let's read one to read do you know the laws of the heavens it says can you set up god's dominion using them over the earth knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou set the dominion thereof that means do you know why heaven is a place of order and dexterity there are laws satan is not there yet there are laws can you reproduce those laws to your life and to your environment because the assignment is let it be done in earth as it is in heaven are we together you want to see the glory of god there are patterns you must keep leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 write that scripture down and never forget it for the rest of your life and moses said this is the thing which the lord commanded that ye should do he says and the glory of the lord shall appear unto you the glory of the lord does not just appear in the various aspects of our lives until there are patterns to keep you may have heard me teach it but it bears repeating that the glory of god listen carefully the glory of god comes as an attestation that his patterns have been followed the glory of the Lord comes upon a life as an attestation that his patterns have been followed. When you compromise on divine patterns, there is no guarantee to see in the glory. Are we together? I'm going to give you two kingdom principles that control good success. There are many. But let's deal with two tonight and in the name of jesus i'm praying for you that while you are listening allow the holy spirit to keep working on your mind don't look at your condition don't look at zaria he told abraham i was sharing with the leaders this morning he said from where thou art lift up your eyes not from where you are going you can start lifting your eyes from where you are from that village from that room from that low estate lift up your eyes two principles I have learned from scripture i have learned from the power of mentorship and by the privilege of god's grace now from experience that control good success number one is called the god first principle please write it the god dash first principle this is the first principle i want to teach you tonight the god first principle the god first principle please look up when you read genesis chapter 1 and verse 1 this was a revelation that god gave me one time during study the spirit of god took me to that scripture and said read the first sentence just the first sentence and it reads in the beginning god read the first four words one to go 
one more time read like a believer one more time just leave whatever he created in the beginning god this is the formula that controls an unbeatable dimension of success that in the beginning of anything whoever you honor from the beginning defines the possibilities in that life or in that destiny in the beginning god not in the beginning skill not in the beginning friends not in the beginning family in the beginning of your life the beginning of your study the beginning of your health the beginning of your destiny don't just say god is in my life what is his position god's position matters not just his presence because he can be there alongside a baggage of many other things i can come to your house and while i'm in your house there are six of us one can be outside the other can be in your living room and then another can be in your bedroom the inner chamber we are all in your house but the value you have placed on us is not the same there are many people god is around their lives but not at the epicenter of their lives the god first principle ladies and gentlemen you know sometimes i feel i almost feel frustrated when i begin to teach these things because there is such an urge to share testimonies to inspire you but unfortunately we live in a world right now that always looks at things upside down that when you share testimonies they are they are mistaken for pride but let me just tell you this only a fool would tell you making god a priority does not lead to your elevation that would be a big mistake go and read your bible and see men who make god their priority and for a while they acted and looked like fools except that at the end of their lives all that we see and we saw was the beauty and glory of heaven the god first principle demands that god becomes alpha before he becomes omega he cannot be omega over what he did not become alpha on he is alpha omega if he did not begin it there is no guarantee that he's going to sponsor it are we learning second chronicles 26 second chronicles 26 let's read verse 3 down to 5 the bible says 16 years old was uzziah when he began to reign and he reigned 50 and two years in jerusalem the bible says his mother's name was also jacolia of jerusalem verse 4 it says and he did that which was right in the sight of the lord according to all that his father amaziah did verse 25 let's read it together in concert ready one to read and he sought god in the days of zechariah who had understanding in the visions of god uh-huh and as long as he sought the lord god made him to prosper who makes men prosper yes sir you got it right it's an answer you must never change for the rest of your life men prosper because they are marvelously helped by god i will lift up my eyes to the hills he says from whence cometh my help it's a question he says my help cometh from the lord the maker I like that definition he calls god the maker it is not only the heavens and the earth he makes he can make men bring your destiny as battered and scattered as it is hand it over to the maker that what your father could not do what your mother could not do are we together now what your tribal affiliation may not afford you you hand over that destiny i know you can't speak english very well i know you may not have the kind of pedigree that is welcoming but you hand over like the woman with the alabaster box hand it over to the maker and watch what he does he is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty battle Amen. you are the king of glory 
the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty battle. Amen. A day will come you will travel to your home and pass roads you used to know before except that the only thing that will accompany you is the tears from your eyes i remember this house you will say i remember this place and you will say how great thou art the faithfulness of god over your life let the mockers mock while you love him let those who laugh at you laugh while you mock him let other people say it's god you are going to eat it's god that will give you a husband they are not wrong you just continue where God will carry people that look like nations and bring to your life. Listen, this is not a sermon. No. This, is, this is a charge by the Spirit. Serving God pays. You can earn a living loving Jesus. The same way they say somebody is this. What do you do? And you say loving Jesus. 